Hey fellas, how you doing? It's Johnny. <coughs> I woke up this morning and um, I was thinking about success. I'm really interested in success, guys. I'm, I'm sure you are. I mean, of course you are. And uh, I wanted to film uh, a video outside, uh, a demonstration video. The weather's it's raining, so I wanted to make do with what we have. But I was just saying to Naz, you know, everything I, everything I learned in my life about success has been... Um, is having to go through all of the difficulties that we face as human beings, as men. So I'll start off with a very simple metaphor, which is going out and meeting women. My whole 10 years, I learned a lot of things. Obviously, you guys know about my change of philosophy. I learned that going out and cheating on women and sleeping with different women was success when I first started, because that was my worldview. That was what I thought was right. But in the end, I learned that was failure because that was affecting my self-esteem, my integrity. So it's interesting how success can come at different, at different times for us. So when I woke up this morning, I got this massive excitement and a bit of fear as well. I thought to myself, what are men afraid of? What am I afraid of? We're afraid of being turned down by attractive women. That is a metaphor for us being afraid to be turned down by life. So how do you overcome this? Well. I don't think overcome is the right word. I don't think I want to overcome it. I think I want to embrace it and get better at it. So I had this vision when I woke up this morning. I had a vision of me going out and honestly going up to women that I found attractive and, and asking them out. And, and if, if I fail, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they say no. What matters is that I'm, I don't know, what matters is that I'm expressing myself and I'm doing the things that I want to do. And I've been speaking to you guys a lot about the kingdom within. You know, the kingdom within and, and having self-esteem and self-love and doing the things you want to do, it, it doesn't come at the cost of being free from fear. It doesn't come at the cost of being free from being turned down. I don't want to be turned down. I don't want to feel rejected by women. I don't want people not to love me. But at the same time, I'm not going to be threatened by that. Sometimes I am threatened by that. I'm going to do it anyway, but I'm going to do it from the right place. So I'm not going to be going over to the women I'm not going over it anymore because of ego, not on a conscious level. I'm not going over there to impress you guys. I want to inspire you guys, I want to inspire myself because I'm still learning as well and I'm interested to go to the deeper aspects of our human psyche, our psychology, the story that we create, our conditioning, our cultural conditioning, our parental conditioning. Why are we afraid to be turned down? Turning down got me, got me my success. It got me here today. This is where I am now doing this video. This is what I dreamed of when I was a young boy and I was getting bullied in the playground at school. And I knew, I knew that I was more than what I was made to feel. So I think sometimes how, we're made, how we feel does not define who we are and what, our, and what we're capable of doing. So me going out on the street, I might speak to 10 women and I might go up and ask them out and they might all turn me down. But that's success for me. That's not trying to philosophize my way out or be smart spiritually. That is how you get success. Because if I want to meet the right woman, I've got to, I've got to go through a, a number of applications. So you've heard the term before, success is a numbers game. Of course it's a numbers game. It will never change. Everything's a numbers game. The video that I'm putting on YouTube now is a numbers game. A certain amount of people are going to watch it. A certain amount of people are going to like it. A certain amount of people are not going to like it. That is the route to success. I quote Les Brown, failure equals success. And I like quotes and I, I love Les Brown. Les Brown inspired me to go within and to go out and to find this truth for myself. So success, self-love, joy, meeting the woman of your dreams, it doesn't come at the cost of experiencing discomfort. But then again, you go into discomfort and you get better with it. The first time you go out and say hello to a woman, it's uncomfortable. I didn't like it either. Social anxiety, nervous, shy and all the rest of it. But when you do it 100 times, when you do it 200 times, when you do it 300 times, you become more accustomed to the feeling. So this is really what I wanted to stress and this is a metaphor to make it very simple. When you see a woman you're attracted to, or when you see a situation in your life and you think, I really want to be a part of that, I really want to do that, but I'm ashamed, I'm embarrassed, I'm scared, what will my friends think, what will my family think, what will I think, what will the person think? You've got to do it, you've got to do it. And the way you do it is you be honest. You cannot fail when you're coming from a true place of being honest. If, if a woman turns me down, it makes, it doesn't, I don't lose anything. You don't lose limbs. 
I don't lose my integrity. The only person who can turn you down is yourself. I keep telling myself this all the time because even I don't believe it sometimes and I've got the actual proof that this works in my life. And when I read books on motivation, I look at other successful people, they're saying the exact thing I'm saying. And we all know it, but some of us get so frightened we don't apply it. You guys already know that I'm a man of action. You've been watching me for four years. I make a lot of mistakes. I get a lot of things right. I help people to do amazing things. And that's because I keep following this law. So hopefully today, if we get a chance, I'm going to show you a few demonstrations uh, of going up. And I'm going to do something interesting. And this is what um, my dad did. This is what Floyd did. Uh, this is what I did. And this is what many of the guys in my school did. I'm going to walk up to a woman. <laughs> make you laugh for like a show off I'm gonna just ask them out I'm gonna say I like you do you want to come out of me and the likelihood the likelihood is they could say no because I'm cutting down the process I'm cutting out all the small talk I'm cutting out how is your day where are you from that's not a bad thing but I'm getting right down to the core component of what it is when you see a woman what do you think she's attractive what comes next I'd like to get to know her so I'm going to cut right down to that truth. In cutting down to that truth, failure might show up. But it's no failure. Do you know why? I'm excited because I'm actually doing what I want to do. And it's great because I'm putting myself out on camera and I'm being judged. And I've people watching me. People are going to say I'm doing it wrong. People are going to say, he's doing it wrong, he should be doing it this way. No, I, I'm great. That's, this is all part of it. People are going to judge me. People are going to love what I'm going to do. I love it. I'm acting from a true place. That is authenticity. That is being yourself. And this is one of the, well, this is the philosophy to how to get good of women and get good of life. So if everyone turns me down today, it's massive success. So enjoy the process. Excuse me, excuse me. Hi. Hello there. You're beautiful. Would you come out of me? No, sorry. That's okay. Thank you. You okay? Where are you from? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not here. You're lovely and beautiful. Would you come out of me? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello there. Are you okay? Yeah. You're beautiful. Did you come out of me? Uh, well, I'm just meeting my friends. I didn't mean. I meant another time. Okay. Yeah. Did you like that? Well. Why, right. not? Why not? Sure. Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Oh, lovely to meet you. Yeah, nice to I meet really, you. I really like Polish women. Yeah, okay. What's your name? Uh, my name's Johnny and my battery's just died. Okay. If I give you uh, my number, because uh, my battery's died, I can't even get your number. Can you get a piece of paper? I don't, but I memorised it off my heart. Okay. I'm already late. I don't Sorry. want to make you late, that's alright. I'm Johnny, short for Jonathan. What's your number? It's 07 50 Okay. 70. It's like you're making it up.